Hello YouTube, this is Hellblaze123 here and I am back with a new video. And today's video, like I um, stated uh, in my last RPG Maker video, it will be a RPG Maker tutorial on events. Um, now today I just want to um, go over uh, transfer events, which are events that allow you to transfer from one map to the next, meaning ways of transferring from here to any of these other maps. Now, as you can see here, um, I kind of already have one set up just as an example, um, but I will be creating one from scratch for you guys just so you can see how the process works. Now, there are two main forms of transferring somebody. You can either do it in a way of a door, which means you walk into the door, the door opens, you walk in, and then you transfer. And then there are a simpler version, which is just you walk over the event and the screen basically fades out and you transfer to another map. Um, <clears throat> and each one just depends on how you're going to use it. So for buildings like these, you do want to use like a door um, event. Now just lets you see what it looks like by um, in RPG Maker uh, VX, if you double click an event or even a blank spot, it opens the events page, which allows you to edit the event. Um, there's many features of it. You can um, you can add a new event page. These are page. Everything is within event pages, which you're just telling you, um, letting that one event do many things, like do multiple things depending on when you need it to happen. You can copy event page, delete them, paste them, clear them. Clear them just clears off everything that has to do in this event page. Um, the first thing here is conditions. Now conditions is just here to tell you what activates this, um, and what like it basically says. This does not activate unless this condition is met, basically. So, if this is like if one of these switches or variables or even any of these things are not true, then this event will not activate. If any of these are true, then it will be able to be uh, activated. Um, as you can see, this is just a basic door, so it doesn't ob it obviously doesn't have any conditions because all you really knew need to do is uh, trigger it. Um, graphics is just what image you want to it uh, what, yeah what image you want to use and these images can all be found in your characters folder within the graphics folder and you can pretty much use anything uh, defaultly it does come with a bunch of doors depending on um, what you're use what you're doing so if you're just using the standard sprites these doors are all you pretty much need but if you do go to a sprite that's a bit taller you can easily switch to taller doors um, as you can see, they have symbols on them. Like this one has um, the uh, exclamation points, and um, these just symbolize. These just help symbolize what the uh, switch or what the image is for. If you see that that dollar sign, that means it automatically knows to adjust depending on the height width of the um, things. And basically, all you really need to do with this is if um, if you have a four a uh, three by four. Uh, character sp uh, sheet. So if you instead of having all the characters on one sheet, you wanted him all by himself, you'd put um, the money sign in front of his name. But anyway, let's just uh, let's stick to what we're supposed to be doing here. <laughs> I can go into all that later. All right. So you have graphics. You have um, uh, autonomous movement. Autonomous. Mo I that is a weird word. Basically, it just says if the object moves on its own, just like while you're running around the map it'll just do this on its own so you can have it so it just stays there random approach character or customize it so that he moves in a certain way uh, and then that of course you can't click move route unless you're in custom and then you can control the care the movement of this event but let's just keep it fixed since this is a door you don't want it to move around speed obvious how fast it moves frequency just tells you you know how um, how often um, this is priority, which just says whether it's, as it's stated, whether it's below the character, which means you can walk over it. Same as character, which means you'll, you, it'll be on the same level as you. Or above character, which means it'll be above you, you walk under it. As something like this, you want it same as character, since a door would be on the same level. And of course, you have the trigger here, which just says how does this event be triggered. It can be done by an action button, which means you walk up to it and hit um, enter, or the action key. Player touch, which just means once the player touches it, it activates. Event touch, which um, I'm not—I've never really used that, so I'm not really all that sure of it. 
So I think that happens when an event touch, like I think so if you have another event walk over it, you can have that event activate this one. Auto run means it automatically runs as soon as you enter the map and parallel process just means it, um, the difference between these two is they both run automatically. It's just this one stops your player from doing anything. This one makes puts it in high priority. This one allows everything else to run with it. So that means if you wanted to have a bird chirping sound effect play over and over again, but you still want your character to move, you would do this. Or if you're having an event that you just want to happen a lot just to keep checking for, then you can just have this. But for the door, we want player touch. And of course, this is the list of events. Oh, this is the options. This just gives you like like walking animation which means it just plays walking which just allows it to play walking animation for when it moves stepping animation means that even when it's just not moving it'll still play the stepping animation which just means it'll just play do 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 it'll just keep doing this over and over again it'll just keep repeating the stepping animation and through uh, i mean direction fix means it can't change direction which just makes it so when you touch it it doesn't automatically turn to face you and through just means that it can go through things. Um, this is a list of events, or a list of event commands. An event command basically just allows you to... Um, <clears throat> this is basically everything you need. This is basically everything that's going to happen in this event. So, like, this one is play, sound effect, open, which is a sound file. Um, if I open this up by hitting... If you hit space in here, you have to make sure you click this, where you see the at symbol. If you click here, it won't do anything. You have to click this only once, and then to edit it, you can either right click and edit, or space. Um, as you can see, this is a sound thing, so of course it's obviously going to open the sound effects um, window. So you can choose your sound, you can hit play to play it, you can hit stop to, if it's a music, you can just hit stop to stop it, because if you play music, it will continuously loop until you hit stop, or until you play something else. Volume and pits are pretty obvious pitch just changes how high the pitch is or how low the pitch is and all that stuff so let's cancel these are your set move routes which just sets um, how it moves so you, you have all these lovely options and you have these kind of options so repeat action just means it'll do it over and over again skip if cannot move which means if it hits an if it hits another event or uh, impassable area it'll just skip to the end of the it'll just skip this whole thing and move on to the next event and wait for completion just means it's got a the, the the next events won't activate until this is completed and then a switch is um, pretty simple this is a self switch which basically as you can see over here self switch it's a condition so this basically turns self switch A on now as you can see this doesn't have a self switch activation so why is that self switch on well it activates the next event page which is the door being open so as you can see here the graphics changed from this to nothing because the door was here the door opens this basically just makes it play the animation which just makes basically makes it do this this and this so does that comes over here the door is now completely open as you can see it's below the character which means you can walk over it it automatically moves your character forward plays the sound move transfers the player and then turns the switch off so that way once you come back out of the map it goes back to this. Now transfer player um, um, is pretty simple. When you transfer player, this is the vin this is the window you'll get open. You can put direct designation, which means you double click this. You can choose where he goes. And then on designation by variables, you can actually I think you can input exactly where, like by hand rather than this. I don't use this at all. I I prefer this. I don't really have any uh, experience using this, so I wouldn't. I don't want to try and tell you how to use this when I don't know myself. <laughs> and this is just basically saying what direction will he be facing when he comes into the new map. Retain is alright for doors because you're walking forward to get into them anyway. So it kind of looks alright when you go into the next map to be looking forward. But if you want an event to happen so where you walk through the door and it takes you through like... You want for some reason him to be facing a different direction, you can change the direction. Just to make sure he's always facing that direction. And then, of course, it turns the switch off to switch it back here, of course. So, um, that's base the basics of the events. And, um, I know this is going to take many tutorials to get eventing down, so I'm not going to be stressed too much on the fact that I'm already at 10 minutes. So, 
I th- um, I'm I'm gonna take up about the whole 15 minutes and probably more just to make sure I get completed with um, doing the transfers because I want you to understand that transfers is probably one of the most used basics like I mean and I mean not most used but it is one of the basic ones that you're gonna use a lot so I want to make sure I get that clear now there are um, also other options for setting an event and I will show you here now as you can see I already have one here and this basically leads to the in which is here which leads us to another transfer um, which is right here this one's a door which means it opens the door plays the door opening and then transfers this is just a simple transfer all it does is play the sound and transfers the player and it's below the character which means as soon as you touch it and by touch you have to walk over it it automatically transfers you very simple <clears throat> um, I know you're probably looking at the map and be like, whoa, what's this all weird and stuff. I'm not going into all that. Uh, I'll go into that in a mapping tutorial eventually. But let's um, let's make a new one. Let's make one for the item shop. As you can see, I have an item shop map right here already set up. So basically, you can do you can do this in many ways. You can either double click and do this all by hand and set this all up, or you can just simply right click, quick event creation, transfer and door. Now as you can see you can need control 1 or control 2 to do this. I do use the shortcut keys all the time. But um let's just um let's make it a door event because you will probably almost always use this. You will probably almost rarely ever double click, you know, scroll down, choose the door yourself. Do 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 do. do. I mean, you'll probably almost never have to do any of this stuff, but I'll just do it real quick just to um show you that how it's done I'm just gonna go with this real quickly open one first you want to play the sound when you hit the door and you want this to be a player touch you can make an action if you want it so that you have to hit the door like but with the action key to do it but let's just keep it simple and then you want of course set move route this event wait for completion now the first thing you need to do is direction fix off which makes it so that it can Act, uh, animate. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's um, let's see, it's let's see, the top one's up, then you have left, right, down. So I think it's turn left, wait, um, I think two, and then turn right, wait two. And I believe that's all you really need to make that work. And then you just have a, oh wait, oh, forgot to, haha. <laughs> and direction fix back on. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. <laughs> I don't normally do this, so I'm a little rusty at this. And then you just do a quick self switch, A on. New event page, has to be used by A, blank. Let's just keep that all the same. And this doesn't really matter. And all you really need to do, oh wait, yes it does, yes it does. I think, if, <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. I think this is an auto run, yes, this is an auto run, okay. Just making sure. Because <laughs> I've been known to be wrong. Alright, now it makes it so you set move route, player, he, um, skip if cannot move. Uh, just have him move uh, whichever direction you're making him face, which in this case it would be move up. Actually, I think I need wait on there too. Um, <clears throat> then you play sound effect. Where's transfer? Oh wait, where's move? It's move. Uh, did I move it? No, here we go. Yep, there we go. Move. And then you finally, oh, right there, transfer player. And we'll make him go to the item shop. Boom, boom, apply. I think I have everything. Let me make sure. Oh, right, forgot. <laughs> we want to make sure this stays where it's supposed to be. So, whoop, nope, not you. So that's what's a off, which just turns it back to normal. So now we have everything that needs to be done to um, make this work. So now all we need to do, real quick, just to make sure that we do this right, is we need to send an event here. Which this time I'm just gonna do it this way. Transfer. 
And then with transfers, you always want to make sure that you go in front of wherever it is you want to be. You never want to go right on it because then you could have some backfire from that. You could accidentally activate the door or you'll be appearing on the door, which would lo wouldn't look natural. So always go in front of wherever you are, wherever the um, event uh, before it is. If there's ever an event in the area that's a transfer, put it before that or after it, depending on which direction you're facing. Like in this case, I had to put, um, when I put the transfer uh, on here, I made sure that I put it here so that he doesn't accidentally touch this and automatically gets zoomed away for some reason or another. But now that we've done this, let's save. This might run a little laggy, so let's just test this out real quick. Oh, I hate that music. <laughs> All right, so let's test out the... Um, this one since I made it and boom you get transferred and kaboom you're in here now now let's try this transfer and it works now let's try mine and see if it works hey it worked perfectly and then let's leave and boom so that is how you do that to do quick transfers I'm sorry that took a little longer than I wanted to to so um, the next um, video I will do, I will show you how to do uh, NPCs, which are non-playable characters. I'm just going to do a few simple ones, and uh, I'll just show you how to do what um, more in depth on more on the event page itself. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. This is Hellblaze123, and I am out. Goodbye.